Hello and welcome to Alex Elliott Golf. This is episode 5 of the Get Into Golf series. This is from beginners all the way to experienced players, refreshing everybody on the fundamentals of golf. This week we're going to talk about driving. So the first area we're going to talk about is stance. Now for driver, I want a nice wide stance, so wider than we would have with the irons. So just wider than shorter width apart, nice solid base. We nearly need a solid base here because this is the fastest point we're going to swing the golf club. So in order to rotate around our blower half, we need a nice sturdy base. Then from there, we're going to talk about ball position. Now, this wide stance would have the ball position on the left heel or just inside the left heel for a right-hander, on the right heel or just inside the right heel for a left-hander. As you can see there, I've got the ball just on my left heel. Nice solid base. If we had a narrow base, our angles could change and becomes very unreliable. So now we've got a solid stance and a solid base and a correct ball position, I'm going to set the shoulders. Now, I see a lot of amateurs try and create that upward arc in order to hit the ball longer and further in the air with less spin. So for me, really quick, simple tip. Put your golf club in between your sternum and just tilt until it hits your left leg. Now, for a left-hander, this would be the opposite. You tilt until it hits your right leg. So. I'll do that again for you. I'm going to tilt and so it's my left leg. Now you'll see my shoulders are set. They've set an upward arc because ideally with a driver, you want to hit it on the up in order to maximise distance and lower spin. Now we've got those shoulders set. Get those hips onto the golf ball. That's also going to help us hit the driver on the up and not limit backswing rotation. Here is what we don't want to see them. Here is correct. So now we've got our hips correct. We've got our sternum and shoulders set at a correct angle in order to hit it on an ascending arc. We now can talk about the rotary motion of the backswing. So the final two areas we need to talk about before we talk about the whole swing motion is aim and how we're going to grip the golf club. Now, as I mentioned in previous episodes, we have our ball to target line and we have our feet line. Now, I like to see these both parallel. So our feet will be parallel to our ball to target line. We put the target out down the fairway. Then our knees, hips and shoulders would also be parallel to our ball to target line. Really simple but very much key in order to deliver the club face and square at impact. So the next part of the puzzle is gripping the golf club. Now I always like to get my clients with the left hand on the grip first. I want to see two and a half knuckles on your left hand. Then from there the right hand goes on, interlocks if you prefer. The thumb and the forefinger crease goes into my right shoulder. Now that's going to give you the best chance and a neutral grip in order to deliver that club face square as possible at impact. Now, there's three different ways I, I can, we can use in order to grip the golf club. We've got interlock, overlap, or baseball. Now, baseball is probably for beginners, and interlock or overlap is for your more advanced players. So now we've got our solid base, we've set our shoulders, our ball position is correct, just inside my left heel. My grip is correct. Now, all we've got to do now is make a nice turn around our body, back is now to the target, hands on my right shoulder, into impact, to a nice balanced finish. And the key thing to remember with driver is never swing yourself off balance. A lot of amateurs swing themselves off balance and this can lead to many other bad shots, swing tendencies, or bad habits that are definitely out on the golf course. I want you to feel like you're making a big circle with the club face, back into impact, and round again for a nice big circle. So the golf swing always feels like a big bike wheel. It's round the bike wheel wide for a driver, back into impact, wide again. And another key area to remember with driving is, as we're entering the back swing, a little bit of weight transfer into my right side, loading the power, back into the ball, through to a nice balanced finish. So a nice balanced swing, everything's set in place, great setup, aiming correctly. Thank you for watching episode 5 of the Get Into Golf series. For the previous 4 episodes on putting, chipping, pitching and iron play, all the links will be in the description below. The aim of all 5 episodes in the Get Into Golf series is to simplify and break down golf into small manageable chunks for beginners to intermediate to advanced players. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Alex Elliott Golf to keep up to date with everything that goes on here. We have tips from myself, tips from European Tour players and Challenge Tour players and the Caddy Diaries gives you an insight onto tour life on the Challenge Tour and on the European Tour. Thanks and see you soon on Alex Elliott Golf.